believe it or not, this fish sandwich, yeah, this one right here, it was inspired by the classic filet of fish from McDonald's. And trust me when I tell you this, it tastes about a million times better. It's light, it's crispy, it's airy, and I'm gonna show you how to make it at home. It starts with Atlantic cod. This is actually the OG fish that they used when they first invented the filet of fish. We're gonna cut it into portions that are about the same size as the buns that we're using. And from here, we're just gonna set it aside on a wire rack. This gets rid of any excess moisture. Then onto the frying oil, we're gonna heat up some peanut oil. That's what we like to use when frying. It gives a great flavor, but it's still neutral and has a high smoking point. This gets heated on medium high until it hits about 375 degrees. Next is the tartar sauce. You have to have tartar sauce with the fish sandwich. It starts with a base of mayo, some chopped oak pickles, some capers, and then parsley because that's what they use in the McDonald's recipe. And then we have some fresh lemon juice. We always use fresh. And then you have to make sure to season. Lots of salt, lots of pepper, and then we're gonna give it a mix. Oh wait, Dijon. You have to have Dijon too. Now we're gonna mix it and then it goes into the fridge or leave it out if you wanna lose your consistency. Next is seasoning the cod. We're gonna season at every step. Some salt, some fresh pepper, and then of course, you have to make sure to do both sides. A little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and then on to making the dredges. First is the dry dredge. A little bit of flour, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning for flavor, that's all you need. Just give it a mix and then on to the wet dredge. For that, we're using some flour, some Old Bay seasoning, some paprika, and then we have ground turmeric, which you don't normally see, but that's what they use in the McDonald's recipe. White pepper, which is great with cod, and then baking powder, which is gonna make this fish extra crispy. And then of course, season with salt and pepper, then give it a mix. Next, we're gonna crack an egg directly into those ingredients. We're gonna give it a mix with a fork, it's not gonna look like much, it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be crumbly, but then we're gonna be adding our liquid. For our recipe, we're using sparkling water. A lot of people like to use beer. Hey, if that's what you wanna do, go for it. We're gonna mix it up, and it's gonna look like a loose consistency, uh, sort of like a light salad dressing. And now it's time to dredge that fish. We're gonna just first dunk it into that dry dredge, make sure it's completely coated in the flour, Tap it in there, get in every nook and cranny, press the sides in, you wanna make sure it's completely coated. And then from there, just get it into that wet dredge. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. We're gonna dunk it in there, make sure it's completely coated, then get it out and into the fryer. Be careful when you're using your hands, if you're not comfortable, go with palms. It's gonna fry for about four minutes total. After two minutes, flip it over, look how golden that is. And then another two minutes, we're ready to go. And it is almost time for assembly. I can't wait for you guys to see how this thing looks. Listen to this. Yeah, it's crispy. Next, we're in a steamer bun. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Go for a toast if you want to. It just steams for about eight to 10 seconds. That's all it takes. Put in a colander over some boiling water. It works perfectly. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, assembly. We're gonna start with that steam bun. Get the top out of there. We don't need that now. Tartar sauce, load it up. Don't be afraid to make it messy. We're gonna put two spoonfuls because I love tartar sauce. Next, it's time for that fish. Now look at that. Thick, crispy, golden, perfect. Then the cheese, half a slice, just like they do at McDonald's, and then more tartar sauce. Heck, maybe even a little more. Now just top it off with that final bun. Look how amazing the sandwich looks. Yeah, I know those aren't the chips you're supposed to serve fish with. I can't wait to get in and get a bite. I'm sure you can't either. Give us a like, subscribe, and bon appetit.